Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is an irritating claim which keeps popping up. Amber Heard's mother admits domestic abuse claims were her lawyer's idea. Oh, Amber Heard's being held hostage by her lawyers. That's not how lawyers work, all right? That's, that's not. She's not a victim in this. She's not being held to ransom. Ladies and gents, oh, it's just, it sickens me that this is even pushed as an agenda, like a part of a narrative. It's just, it's weird. So what, so Amber Heard has to do what her lawyers say, does she? You say jump, I'll say how high? Like, what? So Amber Heard's mother, Paige Heard, has admitted that the domestic abuse accusations on Johnny Depp were not her daughter's idea in resurfaced messages. Well, what is she then? Is she, a, is she a simpleton? Does she have to do what everyone just asks her to do? The Blast reported that Paige told Johnny that Amber Heard didn't willingly or happily file for a restraining order. But she did. Demonstrably, she did that. And now she's gone all the way and is counter to him. And this kind of, you know, shifting of blame, I would still say is another part of Amber Heard's PR campaign. Let's shift the blame to my mother. Yeah, there's text messages. Let's bring that back up. Oh, I didn't really want to. I was forced because I just, I needed to. Oh, and, you know, I guess the, the op-ed that she wrote, she was forced to do that as well. What a pile of nonsense. So anyway, Paige blamed the lawyers on both sides for frigging things up. Writing, it's the lawyers on both sides doing this, not Amber. Again, that's not how lawyers work. I heard the whole story, very teary. If I could just talk to Johnny, she didn't want this. Friggin' lawyers on both sides. What sides? What are you talking about? <laughs> This was not her idea, not her wishes. She was told she would be evicted and out in 30 days if she did not do this. What, are we talking about the penthouses? Well, she had no right to be there, did she? So, sorry, let me get, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. She's told she's going to be evicted. She, she's given a month's notice, standard anyway. In fact, some people are not given that. So, you know, good on her, given a month's notice. And so she made domestic abuse allegations? Ah, uh, sorry, that, that doesn't... I'm, I'm all out of sympathy at that point. You're going to be homeless, therefore you ruin a man's life. Right, yeah, no. That shit doesn't fly. Her dumb lawyer, possibly as the only way... She would have a place to live in 30 days. She did not want to do this, I swear to you. The lawyers are frigging things up. I mean, she could just rent a hotel room? She's a movie star. Or was. She won't be after this. She could literally rent a room somewhere. Why does she have to live in a penthouse? Why does she have to live in a mansion? Why do people feel that they're entitled to these things? So they then... What they're saying here... Amber Heard felt entitled to these things, as did the lawyers. Therefore, she filed domestic violence allegations. What? Do what normal people do. And go rent a room somewhere. Stay with friends. Go to a hotel. All manner of possibilities. Because you're part of an upper class uh, sector of society with numerous wealth behind your name. You can do those things, Amber. You don't have to file domestic violence. I don't know if anyone bothered to tell you that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how is this even an argument? But this is, this is something which keeps being brought up. Oh, Amber didn't really want to do this. Piss off. Pirates of the Caribbean star responded to the messages asking that if Amber doesn't want it, then why Amber would go to the courthouse with a photo of her that looks like she's been abused? Yeah, pretty obvious reply, to be honest. This is my life too. What are my children and my children's friends supposed to think? 
he said. I do not deserve this, and they do not deserve this, especially not from her. Yep, yeah, perfectly salient reply. Paige replied that Amber's lawyer told her to do so. And that's the reason she wanted to talk to Johnny. Right, okay, so Amber is such a, uh, you know, I don't know, she's inept somewhere along the line. She's got a myopic scope of IQ. She's gone, oh, I've been told to do this, therefore I'm just going to. What an absolute joke. I'll swear to you, this was not her idea, nor did she do it willingly or happily. She was told it was her only option to not be kicked out. I love that that's the excuse. Oh, she's going to be kicked out of her penthouse. So that she's going to file for domestic abuse and a TRO. Sure. I'm not making excuses. Yes, you are. But that is what she believed. She did not want to do it. She felt she was betraying her only love, but the lawyer said so. I mean, you are making excuses. And it's a really poor one. And anyone that uses this as an excuse is a moron. I hate to break it to you, but you're not very bright. Please don't pass this on if you ever talk to Amber again. I love you, son. And these are, these are the messages. Oh, just... I mean, the hashtag Amber Heard is a psychopath is trending. And it's trending for a reason. Because if this is why she did it... Let, let's just entertain that thought for a second. She did this because her lawyers told her it's the only way she would be able to stay where she's living and she'd be kicked out otherwise. I mean, that is... That is... That is narcissistic psychopathy. You feel like you must, you, you, you have ownership of a location, therefore you're going to ruin someone's life without any bearing on the consequences, really? Because you feel like you're owed a house? I mean, again, let's just entertain that thought. If that is true, that's even more damning, isn't it? Well, the lawyers said you must do this. Yeah, well, she could say no. I mean, plenty of people have told her to go and off herself at the moment. She's not going to done it. So she's not exactly that easily swayed, is she? Come on. What a ridiculous statement. Anyway, anyone uses this, please don't use this as an excuse. It's, it's an even more damning testimony, quite frankly. I mean, it's not testimony, but even more damning evidence. Let me know what you think. Take care.